what, what, what do the people think? Are they like uh, like the Catalonian people? Are they in favor, largely in favor, or are skeptics? Is it, is it still an open race? Well, I think um, it's I it's my opinion. It's 50%. percent. I think so. It's going to be close. All right, young naive, we're in Barcelona and um, we're at the airport because we met an important guest. Who, who are you? Well, um, uh, I think you have asked me because I teach in a Catalonian university. I'm a professor of constitutional law and I'm not Catalan. So that's why I think you have asked me to talk to you. But what's your name? My name is Jose Maria La Fuente. So um, I heard Barcelona is in this uh, beautiful region of Catalonia. Right, yeah. that's I, I got that right. Um, but why why is Catalonia in the news these days? Like w even in Germany, we heard a little bit. There's some some something going on in Spain and Catalonia. Can, can you can you introduce us to this subject? Well, the reason I think you have uh, read many things about Catalonia is because there are a percentage of people here who want to be independent from Good. Spain. From Spain. From Spain. So that's not so odd. Uh, there are many other areas in Europe who want it. The north of Italy, for instance. Scotland. Uh, Scotland. In Ukraine. Or and, um, yeah, but in the west of Europe, even some parts of uh, Belgium. Yeah. So uh, uh, there are some areas in Europe who want that. And sometimes even in Bavaria, they were like, well, yeah, we need to Bavaria get you. as well. Some, uh, but they're not I'm serious. Not so, so, uh, so important. But uh, that's not so strange in Europe. And in Catalonia at the moment, uh, there are percentages of people who is, uh, well, you can't really know how many people, but quite important mm. number of people who want to be independent. So, I mean, I've, I've, we've been to Madrid and I heard, learned that Spain is uh, like free of dictatorships in 78. Why, why didn't... Catalonia, like if, if so many people want to be independent of Spain, why didn't they decide back then to be independent? Well, there is um, yeah, there is an economical reason. If you see the areas in Europe who wants to become independent are the uh, the wealthier um, uh, areas of Europe, north of Italy, for instance, they are wealthier than the south, or uh, Scotland is a quite wealthy area. And in Spain, Catalonia is maybe the wealthiest of all Spain. That's the reason why uh, they see, they think they could live alone. But why? I mean, uh, uh, do they just want to have their wealth to themselves? Yeah, that's, really? a, why, that's a reason why. I mean, that's one of the reasons. They have their own language. So it means they have, they have some um, own um, culture mm -hmm. and that's another uh, reason but when you are wealthy in an area in any country of Spain or of Europe mm -hmm. you have to share your money with the poorest and uh, so if you get independent you become independent uh, then you have not to share and you keep your money for you and you become wealthier and wealthier uh, that's a reason mm -hmm. uh, I mean Maybe that's not the only reason in Catalonia. I think it's not the only reason in Catalonia, but it's quite important reason. I mean, the uh, poor areas never wants to uh, become independent. Of course not. Yeah. Because they maybe depend on the richer parts of the country. That's the reason. So, but uh, beside that, in Catalonia, as you know, they have their own language. Uh, they have some special history and Uh, it helps to the people, for the people to have this feeling for becoming independent. So, I mean, uh, there's been a crisis for a couple of years now. Has this crisis um, uh, really helped this movement now? Like, uh, yeah. the, the, like I mean, crisis, uh, everybody loses. Uh, I mean, most of the people are become, become poorer and poorer. It's the same in love. If you get money, it's easier for you to have a very good relationship with your uh, fiancé. If you have no money, it's not so easy. Mm. It's all the same. The money helps. So, uh, but is only the money the reason? No, uh, no. What are the no, reasons? No, 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 no. Because you have asked me about Catalonia yeah. and all around Europe. Mm -hmm. 
Catalonia is the on, it's not the only area who wants to become independent. There are many others who wants that. But, but let, let, so, let, let's, and, let's and focus if on you Catalonia. see if you see the areas who want to become independent are wealthy. So that's one reason. But Scotland or Catalonia have their own language and their own history, uh, partly different from the rest, and um, uh, different culture. And it helps to try to uh, defend this culture, mm. becoming independent. I mean, okay. I mean, they, they want to keep their wealth to themselves. That's yeah. that might be a bad reason they to, want to to go defend and their culture as well. Th that that be, might be a good reason. Is there other other good reasons that they um, become independent? Well, uh, I've told you about the language. I mean, uh, for in this situation, I think um, languages like Spanish or German, maybe I don't know if they are they will be able to keep um, in his fight against the English. But Catalan, it's even more difficult to keep its, in, its importance uh, beside Spanish and the English as well. So maybe it could help to keep to defend the, their own language being independent. So why, why doesn't the Spanish government say, okay, okay, uh, we're gonna um try to convert, uh, conserve uh, the, the Catalan language, we're going to open Catalan or two language schools or something? No, I mean, uh, in the school, uh, the language is Catalan here. But now in the cinema, for instance, the cinema is in Spanish, or uh, there are many TVs stationed in uh, Spanish as well, so uh, maybe it it's a it's a risk for keeping the Catalan. So uh, I mean, uh, this independent movement is, is it? Uh, what, what, is there any ever going to be like a, a vote for it, or uh, are they only talk, talk, talk? How, like how how, how, well, is the, how is this movement going? The president of Catalonia of the uh, uh, autonomia, which is sort of of uh, state. Uh, Lander in uh, Germany. Is, it, is, it, is it Spain a federal state? It's quite federal. It's not really a federal state, but it's something similar. Okay. And there is a president here. Okay. As you know, his name is Artur Mas. I've never heard of him. And, well, never mind. I mean, uh, uh, he's asking for having a referendum to decide if they want to be independent or not. Who is he asking? Who is the, the Spanish government? To, no, to... no, the people in Catalonia. And, well, you never know when it happens something like that. You never know if it's the people who ask that to the politicians mm -hmm. or the politicians who uh, introduce this feeling in the people. So two questions. Uh, are, is the whole of Spain going to uh, decide on the independence of Catalonia or just the Catalan people? Well, if you, um, if you use the constitution, the Spanish constitution, to change it, you have to ask uh, the referendum all Spaniards. So it's going to be everybody. Indeed, in this case, the Catalonian people has no chance to be independent. Oh. So that's why here the president of Catalonia, Artur Mas, wants to have this referendum just in Catalonia, no in the rest of Spain. His trouble is that the law doesn't help uh, his, uh, his idea. So, so uh, it's not going to happen? Well, you never know. Uh, it depends on you, what you think. The law means uh, you can't say the law is uh, something always uh, respected. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's, that, it's like that, um, but no always. No. You never know. So, you uh, think the law is always respected by the people? Not even Germany. No, in uh, no... In no um, country in the world. So th there's a good chance now. That, so if, if they're just going to hold the referendum by themselves, and uh, there's obviously a good well, chance. You want me to know um, how it's going to be the future, and I I'm not able to to know that. But uh, I'm not uh, able. So he wants to have the referendum on next November. Okay. So we're, so uh, well, it's really hard for him to have it. And he says 
that if he is not able to have this referendum, he will convoke, he will have um, uh, elections for the parliament. Like the new elections? New elections for, for the parliament. Spanish no, for Catalonia. Oh. Trying to um, decide very precisely which are the parties uh, which are in favor of the independence and which are not. So what, 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 what of what party is the, that, that guy, the president, the PP or a socialist? No, it's a special party in Catalonia oh, a special party. called CIU. Oh. It sounds like the Bavarian party, there's a special Bavarian party, yeah. CSU. Well, you know, in north yeah. of Italy they have the same, yeah, and no, there is the uh, Scotland National Nationalist Party right. in Scotland, right. so that's not so strange. So uh, how can you define them politically? Are they more to the right, to the left? Are they... Uh, well, Professor. usually, usually, there are exceptions, but usually the nationalist parties are right. Usually. That's the Scotland Party, that's the Padanian Party in North of Italy, that's the, uh, you know, in the east of Belgium uh, as well. Mm -hmm. So, usually, there are exceptions anyway. So, uh, can you say uh, Catal Catalonia is nationalistic? Very yeah. nationalistic? That's for sure. Catal Catalonians are nationalistic? That's for sure. But like Even those who think Catalonia must uh, continue belonging to Spain. I mean, that, that been, uh, okay, let's go back. Uh, I mean, we're, we're all Europeans and uh, we're all like, be like, oh, this, we have a crisis and Europe needs to come together. We st need to stick together, not become more nationalistic, each one of us. But now... Even uh, Catalonia is saying, no, f fuck Europe, uh, we want to be independent. Well, you know, we have a uh, European election in two weeks. Yes. And, you know, France, for instance, they think uh, the party who is going to win is a far-right party who thinks France has to recover uh, the franc. Front National. Uh, yeah, and to... Um, and to um, refuse the euro. And that's the party who people think is going to win in France. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've got trouble now in Europe because there are many parties who think the EU is not useful anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't think in that way, but you know that. And uh, even in Germany yeah. are parties who think uh, in this way. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... Let's imagine that this referendum is going to be in November. It's going to be successful. I mean, what 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 if uh, Catalonia becomes independent? L like no no matter how, but let's say they uh, become independent, are they automatically going to be a part of U the European Union? Is there a plan for that? Well, that's uh, an issue they are uh, arguing at the moment. Uh, if you read the uh, treaty, the uh, European Union treaty. Uh, they can't be member, but they but they've, think... They've, they've already been member, just like Scotland and all that. Yeah, but you know, the treaties, that's a, um, that's a law reason. The treaties are signed by, by states, and it shouldn't be signed by Scotland or Catalonia. Right. So uh, you can't be member of a treaty if you haven't signed it. it. And Scotland has not signed it, and Catalonia has not signed it. So uh, that's the reason why in Europe at the moment say that if Scotland gets out of uh, Great Britain, they should start uh, for new, for the very beginning. The beginning. His, for the beginning. Her, uh, all it's, over, uh, the whole process. Yeah, all the proceeding to get again uh, in the European Union. So it would mean like uh, Catalonia and Scotland, they've been... Uh, they've They belong to Europe for 30, 25 years, and then suddenly they become independent, and now they suddenly don't don't belong to the European Union, and now have to apply over again. Well, um, it, it, could be. That's weird. That could be. Could be. Um, or or is, not. Or that's not. very strange, anyway. But it could be. It could be. Uh, you know, in September, the Scotland people uh, will will vote if they want to become independent. And, uh, well, you never know what happened. Um, so, so what do you mean? You, you say it could be... Could but be, could, could if be. I was uh, Scottish, mm -hmm. 
I wouldn't want to be out of uh, the European Union. That's my point of view. Mm. Even if I was, if I were an uh, independentist, a, a forward independence, but I wouldn't like to be out. But uh, anyway, there are people who think in uh, another sense. Do you know what the European leaders say, what the European Commission, do they have an opinion on all those uh, independent? Yeah, leaders? the same, the same what they have said for the uh, Scotland proceeding. They have said if Scotland votes the independence or Catalonia or any part of Europe, they will be out of uh, Europe. They have said that, hmm. but the Scotland party, the Scotland Nationalist Party said, well, it could be, but we uh, should be able to find a solution for that. There's some, some Catalonia guy. Uh, no, that's jazz. Um, I, I, have, I have one final question. I mean, uh, there's still a difference between the Scottish case and the Catalonian case. In, in, in England, there's uh, isn't the Cameron, the, uh, the, the, the boss in, in England, isn't he supporting the referendum? And isn't he saying like, okay, if they decide that, He's, he's going to be fine with it, and in, in, in Spain. Yeah, but it's different because it's different. in in the Great Britain, Scotland is part of the Union because they signed a treaty many centuries ago, and it's an international treaty. So uh, they signed it. The the, uh, Scot the Scottish Parliament signed it many years ago, many many years ago. But here in Spain, we have a constitution voted by all the Spanish people, even the Catalonian people. They voted yes to the Spanish Constitution, so that's uh, that's a, a difficulty for getting for becoming independent. And the uh, Scotland uh, people don't have this trouble, this because this trouble because they signed a treaty, and they they have the proceeding to get out of the Great Britain, the Union. And, uh Still, I wonder, like, what, what, what if the if Catalonia becomes independent, is Spain or Catalonia gonna like raise the fences and uh, are, are, an army? Yeah, like uh, defend the, uh, the the currency. The, yeah. How, how 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 is that? Do they have plans for that? Well, they are trying to to make these plans. There are commission. Uh, who are trying to write all this proceeding in case they become independent. And uh, are there any polls yet? Like, how, what, what do the people think? Are they like, uh, like the Catalonian people? Are they in favor, largely in favor, or skeptics? Is it, is it still an open race? Well, I think um, it's I. It's my opinion. It's fifty percent. Fifty percent. I think so. It's going to be close. So it's hard to say how it's going to uh, be in the future. How it's going. How will how it's going to going on in the future? What what do your students say? I mean, you, you, oh, you, they are very young. So they, they are very young. So they want to they want to stay in the European Union, right? Uh, they want. So they are against the, it. They want both. They want both. They want to be independent, and they want to be in the European Union. And they are 17 years old, mm. 18 years old, and you know the independence has a romantic uh, feeling. And all the history of humanity, the independence, has this sense. And uh, there are streets, uh, squares, called independence. Oh. So it's a romantic idea. And I think most of my students are uh, for what? The independence and to belong to the European Union. Can't you like counteract that with another romantic idea of like... Uh, uh, Combined, you united want to Spain? be a politician. No, but but like, uh, and I'm not a politician. So I'm a professor. I'm not a politician. But but he's uh, laughing when I say that. <laughs> but Look but, at him. But I mean, you, you say they have a romantic idea of uh, independence. Uh, maybe there should be a romantic idea of a united Spain. Well, see, look, you have repeated your uh, prime minister for many years. Uh, British as well, Spain as well. So we are not changing. We are not changing our politicians. So it's hard to um, ask for a romantic idea if the politician uh, never change. So uh, I guess the, even in Germany. Yeah, I mean, I guess the Spanish government, the the conservatives, are they like 
like do they look for a compromise or are they like hard edge and be like we're not gonna uh, accept anything well it's hard for them to um, start conversation because the constitution um it's clear yeah and no give no way to the independence this constitution as is the same uh, of any other constitution all around the world right. the constitution never uh, includes uh, a sort of proceeding for the independence of one of the areas of the uh, country. But I mean, even Germany, the, in the German constitution, the Grundgesetz, there's a case. What what needs to happen to have a new constitution? Is there... Is there... Yeah, you can change your constitution. You can reform so, the constitution. Yeah, wouldn't that but be it's a... very hard. Ah. Even in Germany, it's very hard. But, but, uh, how it's do... a very difficult uh, proceeding. You need a consensus. Many people afford and it's very hard and in the uh, the majority you need in the parliament and then a referendum and you need a very hard uh, majority at the parliament in the parliament so it's very hard to change the constitution know that constitution any other constitution is hard to reform so there is to change but that, that might be a middle way so uh, there, there, there won't be a cat, uh, independent catalonia you are a politician no I, i'm just you are a politician you want to find uh, middle ways and uh, just thinking, consensus. Just thinking yeah. out loud. Yeah, they should contract you. Oh. They should contract you to to try to find a solution. Thank you very much. Not not at all. Bye -bye. You're welcome.